A resident of Abokobi, alias Ojo Ajete, was shot in the head by the police on May 25, 2018, sending the bullet from one side of his face to the other. But against all odds, he survived to tell his story. We'll bring you an excerpt of his story, but together in a hotline, uh, put together in a hotline documentary titled As If We Were Inhuman, which is today, uh, on Monday, I must say, November 26, 2018. Next stop, Abokobi Akpoman in Accra. Elias Ojo Ajete Anum nearly died May 25, 2018. He survived gunshot through his head. Currently, he is paralyzed and cannot speak clearly. So his wife, Deborah, narrates his story. She said Elias had a disturbance in the community. So he went there to find out. Her husband discovered that the police had arrested their relative. So he tried to plead with them. The bullet penetrated one side and went through the other. Elias tried to manage some few words. Okay, I can't understand. I'm his family and opinion leaders say they have reported the case to the police, but nothing has been done about it. It has been six months and counting. Well, the, uh, that's a, those are excerpts uh, uh, from that hotline documentary titled As If We Went Human, and it's airing on Monday. Uh, Jojo Kobna wrote, did that story, put that documentary together. He joins me now in the studio. Jojo. This is a very painful uh, sight to watch, I must say. What should we, people expect in this documentary on Monday? Um, people should expect many shocking stories, um, many shocking stories. Story of a woman who was raped at gunpoint, um, raped in tents, with threats that they would shoot her if she screams. And people should expect that there was an investigation that never happened. I mean, they collected semen sample to find out the people who raped there, and nothing happened because CID decided not to go ahead with it. I mean, uh, complexities of issues. Mm. We should expect children beaten to the very core, beaten like adults, beaten with machetes, beaten with um, sticks, um, children collapsing lying in, in, in mud with the military boots stamping their heads. You should see children with cracked um, 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 skulls because their um, doctor's report w w would show that you should, I mean, think something that you cannot do to a human being, you should expect all these things. That's the reason why um, the documentary was titled As If We Weren't Human. And the title came from the interviews with the various victims and mm. they were saying that, I mean, do you think that I was treated as a human being? And so we're like, okay, yeah, this is the appropriate title. So they felt like they were treated uh, in an inhumane manner. They, they felt they felt were not treated as human beings. And that question goes to who? Who were they putting that question to? They 
they they they are posting as if we're not treat as if we're not human to the general public. They okay. just want the whole public to know how they were treated, and then they want the appropriate authorities to take action. Okay. Because um, I mean, uh, when when you're abused, uh, police invest will have to investigate. Perhaps without investigators, and then beyond perhaps you can go to Shrad. Shrad will also have to investigate and come up with. Now we find situations where. For example, Shred has spent three three years on one case, mm. and now the people are the, uh, that, that that particular boy is is in a very bad situation. Keeps going to the hospital, is very traumatized, has not has not been um, counselled, and I mean they feel that the state is not doing enough to I mean address some of these excesses, okay. and so you should expect all these issues in one, and then ultimately. This documentary will pose a very big question. Are we expecting an independent police complaints unit so that when something like this happens, we have a, a, a unit independent of the police that can look at all these cases in a very fast, timely manner so that victims don't feel that, I mean, we are not doing anything about it, they don't feel the injustices. I mean, that is what the documentary will open up uh, various discussions and also the most importantly, to make sure that the authorities that have to work on these cases, they actually do. Mm. And, and, and have we, uh, are we hearing from the police in this uh, documentary about why, because these are cold cases, right? Are we hearing from the police about why the investigations have stalled? Yes, um, um, we, 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 we have written letters, for example, one case in Nairobi, the rape case, uh, said, oh, well, we can't find the you can't find the case files and so that's a that's a response that we've gotten and then the um Elias story they're yet to respond to they have letters that they, they're yet to respond so we're just waiting for their response before we 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 air the but i mean regardless of that on monday 26th at 8 30 it's still going ahead so that the public would see exactly what happened and then the police if they want to respond after too, they have that right to okay. respond after. Well, let me take you a very final thought, uh, Jojo, about why, if somebody is asking, for <coughs> those who have this question on their minds, why is this even necessary? What would you say to them? It is necessary because we have many cases that don't even make it in the media mm. of abusers. And the people, many people have given up on the system. Especially when one person I interviewed, a child, said, hey, when we're abused and went to the police, when a military abused us and went to the police, the police said, well, we are not on good terms with the military and you feel funny and so we cannot help. Wow. And so we cannot help. And so please find, find, find any place. I mean, go, to, go somewhere. And then they decided to go to Shraj. Shraj kept investigating. Then Shad tells us, well, according to the people, um, they did not beat, they did not brutalize them. They just questioned them, and then, but you see all the scars on the body. Then you ask yourself, what kind of questioning were they, are they, were they really referring to? So, you know, all, with all these issues, we need to have a proper discussion because there's so many people there who are hurting, who are in pain, someone who is, even, is bedridden and wants to die and feels that after he was shot, he got a lot of excuses that, oh, well, uh, we didn't even shoot you. You guys shot yourselves. And the guy's like, how can I shoot myself? How can my own people shoot me? We saw, we saw you wielding guns and shooting. Now you say that. I mean, so people, are, people have burning questions and burning issues in their hearts, and they just want. And interestingly, some, some too have given up, and they're saying, you know, we know that there is no justice in this country, and so we have given it to God to, to judge, God to judge whatever happened to us. And so, but we shouldn't get to that point where people will be that helpless when we have institutions to deal with these excesses. And so that's the reason why we're bringing all these things up so that we have a proper discussion and make sure not, it shouldn't just be a discussion, something positive should come. At least the, the people should be compensated, the, the, the properly investigated, so they can have the closure that they 
they want. Mm, and hopefully we'll be uh, engaging uh, some uh, legal practitioners who can help these people uh, because compensation doesn't come easily. Uh, you'd have to go through the, 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 the legal process. But Jojo, we're looking forward to this story, uh, which is airing on Monday. Give us the details again. Run us through it again uh, so that our viewers will be on Monday, Monday um, 27th November um, at 8.30 p.m. and then um, 27th at 6.30 p.m. Okay, so you want to make a date with us as if we were in humans. That's our latest documentary put together by Jojo Kobner, who is here with me. Jojo, thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. And on Monday, we're hoping to have you glued to your set. And I'm sure that many of you have similar uh, questions on your mind, questions that the people are asking. Are we human? Are we being treated as human? Are we being treated in a humane way by the police that is supposed to protect us? Uh, those are questions that I'm sure a lot of people have. Some of you may even have some of those cold cases. Hear what others have said about their own.